Hi folks, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's tip, I believe, will be kind of short. Uh, again, I'm working in Chief Architect Premier version X9 on my Macintosh desktop. Today's tip is about text, uh, rich text and uh, I guess what they call uh, Rich text and text. There you go. Um, so I have this example that text was typed into a rich text box. Um, it was typed without the caps lock on. And if you want to switch to all caps in rich text, uh, you can select all of it. You can quickly select all of it by using Command A or uh, if you're on a PC, Control A like so and I'm going to hit this button I've never seen this button before um, until today uppercase and quickly you can go to uppercase all uppercase or you can go back um, without it okay so I'm going to switch this to all uppercase now this text box down here in rich text was typed with the caps lock on and I cannot change that. So if you want to go backwards from all uppercase, uh, that will not work. In, in regular text, you can actually go into the text style. And I'm going to use a custom text style, not get, in, not get into the save text styles right now. And I can click on uppercase, uncheck the uppercase, and without my caps lock on, I can type this text was typed in small caps, and I'm going to type with caps lock on, this text was typed in all caps with caps lock. Now, if, my, if I go to check this uppercase, it's going to go into all caps. And I'm going to uncheck uppercase. And you can see what was typed in small caps and what was not. So once again, your caps lock makes a difference. But if you did type something in small caps, you can quickly um, change that to, up, to all caps. Hey, I hope this has been uh, helpful. It's a little little thing that I had not seen before in uh, these past many years of using Chief Architect, uh, but there it is. I hope it's been helpful. As always, have a great week.